it's time to level up. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Tanae Williams. I wanted to do a quick video because I realized I'm doing something that may not already be taught in the platform. So what I'm doing today is I am researching a property. So I have one of my students uh, has an owner that has several properties off market that they want to sell everything. They want to leave Brooklyn and they want to sell everything. So what I'm doing right now to figure out how to make an offer is I'm compiling all of the information on the property and I'm using Zillow to do it. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing and how I come to a number on what to offer. Okay. Okay, so here's the information that we received from the owner. We received, uh, so as you can see, this is coming from a real estate company. Uh, this is 65 Titus Avenue. Um, that's one of their properties that they're selling. They're showing the income and expense. Their asking price is 1.5. They also have a property at 69 Starbucks Street, Staten Island. This is the income and expense. They are asking 2.1 million. And this property, 63 Titus, they're asking for 1.5 million. They also have this property. And this one is off market, 26 Robin Road and 26a robin road okay um so these properties they want 1.3 million for this one there's several sites that will come up but i like zillow because you can get a lot of information now um they, they have a very very good uh site now okay so this is 26 robin road it's a three bedroom one bath uh, it is off market. So let's go ahead and grab this address and put it on my sheet. All right. And we know that it is a three bedroom, one bath, 1200 square feet. And we know that it is, uh, let's see. Okay. And the next thing I want to know, so the one thing I'm, I'm looking at, I don't look at estimates. Okay. Uh, this is a rent estimate. This is, uh, we don't do estimates. Zestimates is not, I'll show you exactly what we're going to do on this thing in a minute. Where we want to find out home details and we want to see when he purchased it. Okay, so this is showing the rental listing. So we had it listed in November for $28.50. So he might have one recently rented. I don't know if he got it or he didn't get it, but you can see here that, you know, this is Intel. This is Intel. So we can see that he had it listed for $28.50 in October and November. It was listed for sale for 900,000. All of this is Intel for me. It was listed for 899 and then listed for 900. It was listed for 850. So he's been trying to sell this since 2019. Okay, so that's before the pandemic. That's important to see. He was, he listed it for sale before the pandemic. Okay, and sometimes you have to hit this button. Okay, this is what I was looking for. So he bought it June of 2019 and immediately listed it for sale. So he bought it for 550 and he thought he was gonna flip it to 850. So we can see the mindset of this person. So I don't know if he did any work to it in that month, but that's what he tried to do. 550,000 is what 
he bought it for. Okay, so I'm gonna I need this information. So he bought, purchased it for five fifty in six six twenty nineteen. So I'm gonna put that on my sheet. Let me put that he's what he's asking. He's asking 1.3. What's he asking 1.3? Okay, so this is a three bedroom, one bath. Well, this is interesting because remember there, there were two, there's two addresses. Um, 26 Robin Road and 26 Robin Road, 26A. Okay, so he has this one for 550. Let's see, 26A, Robin Road. And I'm sure some of you will see how I do this search on Google and say, why don't I stay on Zillow? But, okay, here it is. 26 and 26A. All right, here we go. All right, so let's see if this is, that didn't look like the same property as we just looked at. Okay, it is the same information, actually. Okay, so now we have, he listed it for sale for 1.2 at the end of last, so it's list, we moved it actually, he listed it for sale in June, it didn't sell. But you see, he gave it to us for 1.3. It's so already, this is like a waste of my time. He's asking us for 1.3, but he had it listed for sale for 1.2 last year. It didn't sell, he removed the listing, and he has the nerve to now come to the investors and ask them for 1.3. He has the nerve now to come to investors and ask for 1.3. That doesn't make any sense to me. We can't figure out listed for sale for 900, listed price change 950. So he went up, he went up, up for a year. And it's not selling. It's not selling. Okay. So um, listed, let me just make that note. Note to self. 550k, 6616. Okay, so now here's my next step that I need to do. I'm doing some real estate research. The, the address of the property is 10305. New York City is such close quarters that there's enough sales for me to look only in the zip code. And sometimes even within a zip code, you'll have um, one. So you see this zip code is right here. That's this zip code. So now I want to, now I already have mine set. Mostly your um, Zillow is going to be set for sale. Go to sold. Okay. Then uh, price range I'm not uh, bothered with. Um, we want at least a, a three bedroom. And then home type we want multifamily okay so I, I so normally all of these are selected i deselect all and i only choose multifamily that's all good okay now we have all of the sold properties in this neighborhood in the 10305 of uh staten island it's a two bedroom one bath it says see that doesn't make sense too much that it's a two bedroom one bath it's probably the same as this other property where the, this part is wrong. It's not really a two bedroom. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so this property sold 123.23. Zillow is fast. It just sold two days ago. I'm recording this on 125. That is wonderfully fast. Okay, so we're going to use this. And I'm going to put it into my little sheet here.
Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and make another column in here. Okay, so now, in order to calculate price per square foot, what we do, we have 2006, we have uh, $820,000 divided by 200, 2016 square feet. So it's $406.71 per square foot. Some websites will give you the price per square foot so you don't have to calculate it. But I am really a stickler about knowing what the actual numbers are so that I know that the number, my numbers, my calculation is based on my own calculation. And you know, and then you can double check it against public record. So now we have all of that uh, price per square foot, right? Okay, now, I could have done two different things. I could have averaged the price, okay? I could have averaged um, all of the sold properties and then divided it and known the median by the sales price. I like to do it by the square foot. I think it's a little more accurate and you'll see why. There's a reason why I'm doing it by the square foot because now I'm gonna take the price per square foot and then um, that we come up as the median price per square foot and times it by the amount of square feet that we have um, that the other property is. Okay, so it's 1,200 square feet. Okay, so you can see right here that it's 1,200 square feet is property. So I'm going to go ahead and do 400, 407 plus 396. 96 plus 430 plus 315 plus 637 is equal to 2185 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Divided by 5 is 437. So that's the average price per square foot. So I'm just going to write it here for myself. So now I'm gonna say best case he has 1,200 square feet. So we have 1,200 times $437 a square foot. He purchased it for 550,000 in 2019. Based on today's numbers, it's worth less. It's worth five hundred and twenty-four thousand. As this is this is best case scenario, and he's asking one point three million. And this the reason why he has the gumption to ask for one point three million is because he's trying to use commercial cap rates on a residential property. So I don't really want to do any more work with this guy. I've already done two properties. I didn't even go through, just looking at this, he wants 1.5. This property here at Midland is a gorgeous property. It sold for 1.5. He might be close on these, but these are all retail. Okay, that was this was the only one that sold for that. Okay, um, and he does have 5,040 square feet. I'm going to do the numbers on this one. Okay, so actually, let me write this down. 520. Um, offer or market, market value. This is the market value. 
okay, of this property. Let's see, I'll put it here. Five twenty-four. I have to send this to my student so she'll know exactly how to do this or later. And I'm so happy that she asked me to do it so that I could record it and have more footage. Because see, I know this stuff. She kept calling. She wants me to help her, you know, with this deal because she's got a hot owner. He wants to sell. She's so excited about him. And I did not want to sit here and do this work because I knew it was garbage from my first conversation with him. However, I humored, I humored her and I've done the work. This one really needs it because there wasn't anything in the neighborhood. Um, there wasn't anything in the neighborhood 5,000 square feet except for this one and this one. And look, it's such a drastic difference. The difference in the sale price is drastic, but then this is sold in 2020. we can see the average is $259 a square foot. So now he's got 5,040 square feet on that property times 259, it would be 1.3. Okay, what's he asking? He's asking 1.5. He purchased it for 1.4. Okay, so I had already done this work. Um, so he's asking 1.5. Market value is 1.3. Depending on the condition of the property, you know, maybe his 1.5, but he's not selling it. It's not selling. It's on the MLS, just like the other. Um, and it's not selling. So he's, it's been listed and delisted and listed and delisted. Okay, so you can see this property here. Nice property. It's large. I mean, it, it's almost, you know, it's almost like it's four meters. So it's a, this is a great property. I mean, honestly, I understand why he wants 1.5, but dude, look, we've got remodeling to do in this thing. We've got remodeling to do that bathroom looks all right but it hasn't been recently remodeled this kitchen definitely hasn't been recently remodeled um it's definitely not gonna it doesn't garner the 1.5 let me show you what looks like 1.5 in this neighborhood okay so you see this you see these properties you see the floors the paint i mean it's not a lot to do it just needs to be updated it's not right just needs to be updated it is well it's beautiful look at that that is gorgeous so it is a nice it just needs cosmetics but look the estimate says 1.4 okay i understand i understand where he's coming from but he bought it from one for 1 1.450 and let's look at the inside gorgeous Compared to his property, look at this. It's gorgeous. Look at it. It's beautiful compared to his property. Look at those cabinets. Do you see the difference? 
Look at this. It's absolutely gorgeous. So he definitely is not going to get, look at it. Oh my God. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the bathroom compared to the other bathroom that we had before. Look at that bathroom. That is a bathroom compared, did you see the other bathroom? Oh, so you can see. No, he's not gonna get 1.5. Oh my God, what is this? Look at that bathroom, look at the toilet. Look at the shower body, you see everything. Everything, this is what 1.5 looks like. His house doesn't look like 1.5, okay? And that's it, that's it. You know, I think this might not be a multifamily, so then you can't compare. You know, it, it, it's tough. It's really tough. That's where you get a BPO. Okay, you get a broker price opinion. And that's how I do it, guys. And so based on all of the information I gather, I'll take that market value and then I'll discount it, um, you know, 30% or 40%. I'll discount it 40% and go to him with a, with a 60, 60 cents on a dollar offer and see where he comes back because those properties really don't need to be rehabbed if you're just gonna rent them. But especially if I can get them for, you know, 40% uh, less than what I my market value is. Not his asking price. That would be the offer. He's going to be insulted and then we'll start haggling. Uh, best case scenario, I'll get him to about 75 cents of my market price. And then we'll see, maybe, maybe we'll see if I can flip it because I'm not interested in buying over here, but it's an opportunity. So I'll show my uh, student how to flip it and we'll make a little bit of money. This is Tanae Williams, later.